Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, uh, the past videos have been more about Greek cuisine, Spanish cuisine. So today I am taking you to a completely different country. I'm taking you guys to Russia. And um, today's recipe is uh, stroganoff. This is chicken stroganoff because I know stroganoff can be made with beef as well. This one is chicken and it is so quick and easy to make and it tastes so creamy and delicious. And it's really great in terms of flavor. So let's show you guys how to make it. To make the chicken stroganoff here, we have two chicken breasts that we've cut, cleaned, and cut into small pieces. About 250 grams of mushrooms that we've also uh, cut. Uh, one medium onion finely chopped, salt, pepper, nutmeg, a teaspoon of vinegar, two tablespoons of oil, a tablespoon butter, a tablespoon paprika, three cloves of garlic minced, one teaspoon mustard, one teaspoon cornstarch, one cup of cooking cream, and one cup vegetable broth. Our first step is to marinate the chicken. So in a bowl, we're going to add in the chicken. To the chicken, we will be adding salt and pepper. Pepper. And about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Next, we'll be adding in the paprika. And, um, and half the amount of the oil, so about a tablespoon. And now we're just going to give it a mix. And once you've mixed it, you're just going to let it uh, marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. Our first step is to just uh, sear the chicken. So to the pan, we're going to add in the rest of the oil. And we're just going to wait for it to heat up just a little bit. So now uh, we dropped the piece just to test whether it's hot enough. And now we're just going to drop the rest. And now we're just going to sear the chicken really well until it gets nice golden brown edges. So as you can see, they've got a nice sear and now we're just going to remove them and uh, put them on a plate and set them aside. Once you've removed the chicken, uh, no need to clean it because we need this. We need the oil with the spices and all those flavors. So we're going to add in the butter. So once the butter has melted, now we're going to add in the garlic and saute that. And now we're going to add in the onion and we're going to saute the onion until it turns nice and transparent. Once the onion is nice and transparent, we're going to add in the mushrooms and we're going to saute them until they wilt. As you can see, the mushroom has wilted and now we're going to add in the cornstarch and saute it for a minute or two. And once you've sauteed the cornstarch for a minute or two, you're going to add in the chicken broth. Now we're just going to season it with salt and pepper. After it has boiled for a minute or two, we're going to add in the chicken. And we're going to stir that, of course. So uh, now we're just going to add in the vinegar, as well as the mustard. And we're going to mix that all together. So 
So after uh, you've mixed in the vinegar and the mustard, now we're going to add in the cooking cream. This way, don't pour it in the middle, just drizzle it around. And then you're going to give it a good mix. Now we're just going to let everything cook for uh, 10 to 15 minutes and until the sauce reaches the desired consistency. So it looks about ready. It has reached the desired consistency that we're looking for. So now we're going to plate it. So this is what it looks like. We're serving it with some uh, plain white rice and garnished it with some parsley. It smells so good. It looks really nice and creamy and rich and I can't wait to try it. So let's have some mushroom with the chicken. So the flavors are amazing, it's um, so you don't really get any kick of spiciness which is good, I like the fact that it is just nice and creamy, the mushrooms give it a nice texture and the, um, the party adds some greenery, some freshness, so it tastes really great and it's super easy and quick to make so I highly recommend making it. So this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you like this kind of content, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and follow me on my social media so you guys can support me to make more content. I'm available on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.